This model kit review is of the uh, BAE Hawks Red Arrow and uh, it's a 148 scale model by uh, Premier Models and I uh, don't see any other details there but uh, I do have a picture there which is not very well printed. Let's have a look inside. Screws. So here is our uh, canopy glass, which also, interesting enough, actually has the uh, etching for the explosives. It's actually fairly well molded. Uh, here's the underside. This plastic seems to be very thin. And um, the molding is not very good. Not a lot of surface detail. Um, just doesn't have that same quality. Still has the residue on there from the release, the release agent. Here's our nose. The uh, tail with the exhaust. Our, air, our um, nose gear. Our main gear. Uh, wheel wells, covers, uh, we do have some missiles. And uh, here's the uh, main fuselage. We have wings with some detail, not very well molded, to be honest. It's a bit crude. We have a lot of uh, flashing and mold lines. Um, here is the cockpit, not much detail there. Here are air intakes, instrument panels, no detail on there. And uh, here are our seats. And with some decent sized ejector pin holes there. We do also have this extra one here. Have a look here at uh, decals. We actually have uh, details here for the uh, instrument panel, and uh, these are a little bit yellowed, but the actual decals are fine. Here are the instructions. We start off with the uh, cockpit, and then the exhaust, and uh, that's actually number five. Here's our cockpit going into the nose. The wings are then put together part of the fuselage, there's the exhaust and uh, tail being put together, then the three fuselage parts are um, glued together, along with the wings, canopy, air intakes, and so on. Then the uh, last few pieces are glued on, including the wheels and the uh, air surface actuators, brake, and so on. And lastly, you can put weapons on if you wanted to make a regular BAE Hawk. And the Red Arrows, uh, looks like they did have some... This Red Arrow here had uh, uh, some white missiles on there. And here's the uh, painting and decal guide. And there's the different uh, Red Arrow numbers. And as you can see, there are nine of them, three by three. So all in all, the molding quality is not great. The decals were surprising. Um, and uh, looking at the wheel wells, there's really not much there. So really, uh, not, a, not a really amazing quality kit.